Right, guys, a warm, warm welcome to the next uh, live stream here, the second one for today. It is the Ospreys up against the Lions here, and it should be a really interesting game here at Swansea.com Stadium. So uh, really looking forward to this one. The referee for today, Andrew Brace, and uh, he's assisted by Tom Spurrier and Gwen uh, Morris, along with Leo Colgan. Let's quickly run through the team lineups. We'll start with the uh, Lions side. Uh, looking at the back line, we've got Quan Horn, Richard Creel, and Edward van der Merwe in the back three. Uh, very, very good uh, back three this is with Quan Horn now starting to become a really quality player in this Lions side. Richard Creel now following in his brother's footsteps, and Edward van der Merwe finally coming to form. And uh, yeah, can't wait to finally be able to watch a Lions game in a very, very long time. Um, they look really good, and with this back three, they can definitely spark a lot of magic. Looking at the uh, center combination, Eric Cronier and Marius Lowe today, no Hinko van Wijk, unfortunately, and it would have been really nice to see uh, Hinko van Wijk play today, but I think he's out injured, so uh, no uh, Hinko van Wijk today, but Eric Cronier has been solid in his performances up to until now. So, along with Marius Lowe, who's in some exceptional form, along with this uh, halfback combination of Sanele and Ohamba and Jordan Hendricks, who's really been the heart of this Lions side, is Sanele and Ohamba, who can slot in at either 9 or 10, and has looked in sublime form and has given himself an opportunity to be selected for the Springboks squad uh, a little bit later on this year. If we go and have a look at the forwards, Frankie Horn, Emmanuel Chitatuka, along with JC Pretorius in that loose trio. A very lively and agile and uh, committed, energetic loose trio. And all three players, very agile and uh, gets around the park exceptionally well. And Frankie Horn, for me, along with Emmanuel and JC, has been solid. Looking at the lock combination of Reinhard Notnachel and Etienne Oosthuizen, Good to see Etienne Oosthuizen back on South African soil. Probably not the player he he could have been when he was with the Sharks, but now finally has lived into his own. And Etienne Oosthuizen playing some really good rugby as of late. And then uh, looking at the front row of Konrad van Vier and PJ Puerta and JP Smith. Um, should be interesting with JP Smith playing some really exquisite rugby uh, lately. Looking at the bench, Jakub Asahi, Morgan Udia, Ruan Dreyer, a good, strong front row replacement. And Darry, Darin Landsberg has showed some uh, form and quality there. Eisen Esterhuizen, along with Handro Sergel and Mornay van der Berg and Stian Pinar should really boost this uh, bench of this Lions side. So just before the Ospreys comes onto the field, uh, the Lions have already come on. Let's quickly go and have a look at their side. Starting with the back three, Jack Walsh, Luke Morgan, and Keelan Giles. Midfield, Edvardi Bosov and Owen Watkin. And in the halfback combination of Owen Williams, Ruben Morgan Williams. So a very good back line indeed for this Osprey side. One had to feel for the Ospreys that they probably haven't lived up to the expectations set out. But we've known that Welsh rugby has been in a little bit of a disarray as of late. And it's running, it's pouring over to the club sites and a chance maybe for Ospreys to lift themselves from the gutter today. Looking at the forwards, we've got Morgan, Har Mo Morgan Morris, Justin Tipperick and James Ratty as a loose trio of Adam Beard and Rhys Davis in the uh, lock combination. And then we've got Tom Buerta, Sam Perry and Gareth Thomas completing this lineup. Then on the bench, Llewellyn Lloyd, Karen Phillips, Ben Warren, Hugh Sutton, Harry Deves, Luke Davis, Max Nagai, and Kieran Williams to complete the side. Let's get ready for this one. It is going to be the Ospreys playing from right to left on our screens with a kickoff, Owen Williams, to get this game underway. Good luck to the Lions and so too to the Ospreys. Let's get this game underway. The kickoff from Owen Williams sent its... Uh, Going to be a high hanging kickoff into the answer. Frankie Horn immediately looking to set a standard here for this line side as he drives up over the 22 here. Quick ball comes back through the forwards. So held up well there in the fence from the Ospreys. 
But Sanelo and Alhamba now waiting for it just outside the 22 here. Can they make something of this? He is going to go with a box kick over the top. The chase now coming from it will find him out of it. And he's taken that beautifully in the air as well for the Lions. Now, Nohamba going with a kick again, looking for space in behind and nearly finding it a little bit. But back for it now is, uh, is uh, the fullback there. Jack Walsh, who kicks it downfield, not going to find touch. And now Quan Horn with an opportunity to counter. Poor kick from him, though. And uh, taken there, there by the right winger. Luke Morgan gets the kick away. Not going to find touch. Finds Edwell van out of a back it goes to Jordan Hendricks, who puts it on the boot, kicks it straight down the middle of the field. That's going to go on one bounce. Oh, Owen Williams slipping there. 10 meters from his own try line. Gets the kick away. And uh, he will find touch. Run about five meters inside the half of the Ospreys on the far side of the field. Line out to the Lions. Uh, Jennifer says, hopefully Lions can pull out a win for the SA teams today. Yeah, the Sharks winning their game earlier today by 23 to 13. The Bulls, unfortunately, getting a hammering down at the RDS. But uh, there's confidence in this Lions side. Now, how about now? Jordan Hendricks have or oh, the pass knocked on there by Emmanuel Tutuka. And a chance now for the Ospreys from the halfway line to try and counter-attack here. Gets the ball away. Now Owen Williams again looking for space in behind to that kick. It's going to have one bounce into the hands of Edwell van der Merwe. Gets the pass away to Sanele Nohamba. Who's going to get a poor kick into touch on the 22 of the Lions on the grandstand side of the field. Under pressure there, Sanele Nohamba had plenty of time to actually kick that, but just off sliced off the boot there. And not a lot of distance made with that one, but at least safe into touch. Here comes the Ospreys now on the attack. It's charged forward there by the inside center. Owen Watkin now driving forward as the Ospreys 10 meters out from the try line, right in the middle of the field. It's again on the attack. The Ospreys now looking to settle things down early on here. It's driven forward there by uh, Gareth Thomas. Now the ball goes wide. Out the back, Gillen Giles brought down quickly. Again now taken up there by uh, Owen Watkin. Still 10 meters out from the try line. It's uh, carried up by Morgan Morris now. Now Morgan Williams gets the pass away. To the forwards they go. It's, it's Reese Davis who took it up now. Owen Williams through the back. Through the hands they go. Great defense there on Jack Walsh. The Lions doing well in a little knock on here. Oh, no, says the referee. Not a knock-on, but a penalty goes the way of the Ospreys. And uh, early chance to put this one into the corner, maybe. A high tackle from Quan Horn, says uh, Andrew Brace. Owen Williams to kick this to the corner. Four minutes played in this uh, first half. And the Ospreys are looking really, really good. Richard uh, says, yes, Jennifer, after my team did so brilliantly last night, we need another good victory after the Sharks did us proud. And Carlos says, go, SA teams, go. Line out taken well there by uh, Tipperick now and carried up by Owen Watkin. Again, it's taken up Morgan Morris now, just five meters from the try line, pick and go from the Ospreys. They're a meter short of the try line. Frankie Horn finds himself on the wrong side of the uh, ruck here, but manages to get away. Still the Ospreys come. Drive, drive, drive. Meter short. Still a meter short. Now, can the Lions still keep them out here? We saw how good the defense from uh, Edinburgh was, but there's a try for the Ospreys, and it's taken them. Just a mere five minutes to get the opening try of this game. Let's see who's dotted it down. Can't quite make out who that is, but uh, we'll see now in just a second. It's Tom Buerta who scores the opening try for the Ospreys. And the Lions find themselves in trouble early on here in this game. Hopefully, 
it's just a, a slow start for this Lions side today. The Ospreys looking really good so far in this opening five minutes. They've definitely taken it to the Lions. And having the uh, support of the crowd behind him, we could be in for a long game here as the Lions. Right. Owen Williams with the conversion attempt now for the Ospreys. Quality player, this guy. And definitely taking his time with this kick. Not going to get rushed. And oh, he's pulled it to the left quite badly. And the score will remain the same. The Ospreys 5, line 0. And a good start to this Ospreys side at home. Right, six and a half minutes gone. It's going to be Jordan Hendricks uh, to restart this uh, game for us from the halfway line. In fact, it's going to be Quan Horn to get us started. And uh, let's see what he can do with this one. It's a high hanging kickoff from him. The chase, not so good from them, though, as the Ospreys have managed to easily collect that ball now. It's weighted in now by Ruben Morgan Williams. Goes with the box kick over the top. The chase now coming from Keegan Giles, but well taken by the Lions. Nohamba now gets it out. Charged up by Etienne Westhuizen onto the halfway line. Won't be able to get this ball out though and isolate it there, but somehow do get it back. Here they come again now. It's uh, Edwell van der Merwe out to uh, Jordan Hendricks uh, over the 10 meter line. They go inside the Ospreys half. Five meters from the left and touch line. Again, charged up there by Smith this time. Now, Nohamba out through the back. It's uh, Ken Smith tackled back on that occasion. Now, Nohamba, they've lost plenty of ground almost up to the halfway. Edwell van der Merwe now trying to twinkle toes his way through. And uh, knock on from Tipperick as he tried to steal that ball. Come PJ put off oh, beautiful little pop pass to JP Smith into the gap. Thunders over one, thunders over two. Oh, 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 couldn't get the offload and knocks it on 10 meters from the try line. Now it's a chance for Jack Walsh to counter, but he's brought down 10 meters from his own try line. Morgan Williams is going to tell the referee to go back for that knock on, but what a break from JP Smith. And in breaking two defenders. What a break. Looked like a center going at slow motion. The loose head drop from the Lions. J.P. Smith. A little pop pass from P.J. Puerta. Setting up that space. And uh, turning back the years of J.P. Smith now. Eight and a half minutes gone in this first half. Five points to nil. The Ospreys lead. Scrum down to the Ospreys, about 15 meters out from their own trial line, about 15 meters out from the grandstand uh, side of the field. And uh, let's see how the scrum is going to go. It's going to be uh, Ruben Morgan Williams to feed this one in, but the referee not happy with that first scrum and he's going to blow the whistle. We will have a reset scrum then. Nine and a half minutes gone in this one. Ospreys leading by five points to nil after a very good start to this game. They try to tight it prop Tom Buerta. Ruben Morgan Williams to feed this one in for the Ospreys. 15 meters out from his own trial line. The Ospreys now. Oh, solid scrum, but uh, it's going to be a short arm penalty to the Ospreys. We saw plenty of that in the previous game between the Sharks and uh, Edinburgh. So this time, J.P. Smith being penalized with a short arm penalty. So in in uh, no further terms, it was just a free kick. But Owen Williams took it quickly and uh, almost caught himself in trouble. But now the Ospreys have a bit of space to run this. The kick downfield from Jack Walsh in behind. Back for it now, Quan Horn, five meters from his own try line. Oh, he needs to be careful. Oh, steps fast one and then gets the kick away. 
as it will find touch all the way up to the halfway line. A great kick from Quan Horn, nearly in trouble there. It took a little bit too long to gather that ball from his own try line. <laughs> Marius Lowe thought that Owen Williams had tapped that and uh, he just went along with it. I think he actually just kicked the ball before the free kick, but uh, in legal terms, that is correct and uh, nearly got caught out because of it. The line out well taken and now Ruben Morgan Williams, Owen Watkin, flat pass to Watkin, taken up by Morris now on the halfway line in the middle of the field again, Jack Walsh, flat pass there to the loose head prop. Still they come now, Owen Watkin gets the pass away, carried up there by Reese Davis up to the halfway line. Oh, a slip there from Morgan Williams and stolen by J.P. Smith. Gets the ball away to J.C. Pretorius. And here comes the Lions now from the halfway line. Emmanuel Tutuka out to uh, Marius Lowe. Marius Lowe brought down good tackle. Now Emmanuel Tutuka gets it out to Edwell van der Marwen. Now Jordan Hendricks are they playing backwards now is the Lions. J.P. Smith takes it up for them beautifully. Now here comes Jordan Hendricks again. Couldn't get the pass away. He's brought down on the halfway line in the middle of the field. Again, PJ Puerta carries that ball up. No humber waiting for it. Slow ball for the line side now. Into the hands of it. Will Van der Kwan Horn gets the pass away to Maris Low, who knocks it on. But I think it was a forward pass anyway. So uh, either way, scrum down to Ospreys on the halfway line on the far side of the field. Great steal on the ground there by J.P. Smith. Saw that uh, Morgan Williams were taking too long with it. And really just turning back the years is this loose head prop from the Lions as we have a stoppage in play for an injury to one of the Lions players. Five points to all the Ospreys lead after 12 and a half minutes. It's P.J. Puerto who's down and receiving some medical attention. But I must say, I'm quite impressed with uh, the Ospreys in this early exchanges of the game. Um, say what you want. Welsh rugby is in, in quite a pickle at the moment. But from what I've seen so far, not a bad start to this game from the Ospreys. Still PJ receiving some attention. The replacement, Yaku Vasaki, is a good uh, player to come on in the place but it's a little bit early and pj put a quality solid uh, hooker so we will have then a scrum to the ospreys on the halfway line five meters out from the uh, far side touch line as we get ready to set up this uh, scrum here for the ospreys Morgan Williams, the scrum off of the Ospreys to feed this one in for, for them. Taking quite the time to set the scrum. 13 minutes gone in this first half. The fed by Morgan Williams. The scrum stands up and the penalty goes the way of the Ospreys for coming, driving in with... Uh, is the call from Andrew Bray not driving straight and the penalty goes the way of the Ospreys on the halfway line. Five meters from the far side touch line. Right, so the kick to come from Owen Williams kicks it to the touch line and finds touch about on the 22 meter line on the far side of the field. 13 and a half minutes gone. Owen Williams having a decent start to this game. The uh, fly off of the Ospreys. Line up throw to come now. It's Sam Barry to throw this one in. And to the back they go. Well taken. Tipperick off the back now. Gets it out to Keelan Gars. Taken up by Watkin. Morgan Williams again, now Barry once again setting it up about 15 meters out from the try line in the middle of the field. Working the blind side now through the number six, James Ratty, 
Oh, it's been turned over by the Lions now. Richard Krill going forward about 10 meters from his own trial line. Emmanuel Tutuka now at the uh, scrum mark gets it out to Etienne Oosthuis and fends off one. But uh, have to go to ground anyway. About five meters inside the round 22 here. Here's the Lions. No Humba. Slow position coming back for the Lions here. Very slow. Comes back to Jordan Hendricks. Uh, puts it on the boot. Not going to find touch. And now into the hands of Owen Williams. Out to Jack Walsh. Jack Walsh running it up to over the halfway line. Gets the pass away to Keelan Giles. Steps back on the inside. Thumping tackle on him by JC Pretorius. And they've knocked that ball on. Now the Lions have possession here. No humble waiting for it. Gets it uh, between the 22 and the 10 inside their own half. Frankie Horn. There's space out wide here. They move it quickly. Eric Cronier. It will find a matter of Marius Lowe back on the inside to Cronier. Oh, it's been snapped by the Ospreys. And here comes Watka now. Up to the 22 he goes. Tipperick with quick ball out to Ratti. Ratti driving forward. Five meters inside the 22. Snapped up by the Lions though. Now and Tutuka gets the kick away as uh, Kwan Horne. And finds touch on the 10-meter line inside Lions territory. Exciting piece of rugby, this one. And... Uh, Possession so far, Osprey's 57% possession. But when the Lions do have the ball, they're looking pretty good. Right, so it's going to be a line out here to uh, the Osprey's now. 16 minutes played in this one. Time is off at the moment. As uh, the Ospreys just uh, received some attention there. So the throw now to come from uh, Sam Barry. Antoinette Gerber says, I hope my loving Stormers team win today. I second back today. Morgan Williams, Owen Wat uh, Watkin gets the pass out to Ratti. And, uh, oh, it's a great break from Morgan Williams. Gets the final pass away to Perry. And it's a second try for the Ospreys. And just like that, the Lions are in some serious trouble here in this game. Ten points to all. A beautiful break from Morgan Williams, the scrum half, to uh, get the Ospreys' second try is uh, the hooker, Sam Perry. So the Ospreys looking really good in this opening 20 minutes of the game. The Lions not looking too bad themselves, but uh, just a lapse of concentration there from the tight head prop, uh, Konrad van Vieren, who allowed that gap to open up for Morgan Williams. So Sam Perry looking exhausted after scoring that try, the hooker. Well, in fact, they are going to go upstairs to have a look at something here. Are they looking for foul play or a mistake from the Ospreys leading up to that try? Oh, yeah. Yeah, taking out the player there, JC Pretorius, been uh, held back by the defense there. Look at that. Well, to be fair, they were cleaning him out, but then... Uh, Yeah, in all fairness, that should be a penalty to the Lions. So that try might be disallowed. That might be a big moment in this game.
Right, apologies for that. Uh, there was just some uh, audio problems there from my side. So just let me know if you guys can hear me loud and clear. Um, for some reason, the mic just went off there for a second. So uh, the try has been awarded by the referee. And the Ospreys are leading by 12 points to nil. The restart then uh, as uh, Morgan Williams now waits for this ball. Gets it out to Sam Barry Owen Watkin, out to Jack Walsh. Oh, this is going to be a penalty to the, to the Lions. They're holding on on the ground. And a great effort from Frankie Horn. 18 and a half minutes played here. Not releasing from Jack Walsh. And a chance maybe for the Lions to come back into this game. They need to get some points on. But they are going to go for the touchline here. 12 points to nil. Ospreys lead here after the, the TMO decided that uh, they were cleaning out JC Pretorius instead of keeping him back. Right, so to the corner the Lions went. Thanks, uh, Richard, to say thanks for Guru on the stream. Go smash a like. Right, PJ Puerta with this uh, throw into this line out and door. Oh, Edwell van der Merwe came flying in there in that movement. So uh, he was held up well by the Ospreys. They read it well. Now pick up and go. Emmanuel Chichika nearly over the try line there, but held up just a meter short of the try line. Can the Lions get this ball back? PJ Puerta under pressure. Penalty advantage coming for the Lions. Still about five meters out from the try line now. It's Etienne Wurstes and trying to go over but couldn't get there. Now Nohamba back to Tutsuka. Still the Lions come. They need this try now. Vital that they get it. Still they come five meters from the try line. Frankie Horn now moving towards the middle of the field. JC Pretorius. Oh, so close. Again, just a meter short of the try line. Another pick up and go from the Lions. Still working it. PJ Puerta, he surely has got to have the try there. Well, let's see what the referee decides here. It's going to be a penalty instead to the Lions. I thought it looked like PJ Puerta got the try down. But uh, the mistake he made was to push that ball back again. So only a penalty then in the end here. They're not going to go upstairs to have a look at it. So to the corner they go. Nohamba to put it out. Five meters from the try line. Twenty-one minutes gone. Just to uh, give you guys an idea, because my clock did stop there after having that issues with the audio. So twenty-one minutes played. And uh, the Lions now on the attack here from five meters out from the try line. So close again. Just a meter short now. Another pick and go from PJ Puerta. But still the defense of the Ospreys holds out. And they've stolen the ball on the ground as well. Lions should have gone with the back line there. Oh, and a penalty goes the way of the Ospreys. Not releasing... And they get a further 10 meters for Etienne Westays and complaining to the referee there. So uh, discipline vital there. Irritated and frustrated by the referee's call. Earns him another 10 meters back is Etienne Westays. So 22 minutes gone, still 12 points to nil. And uh, the Lions now had a golden opportunity, gone a begging. That ball is going to find touch on the 10-meter line inside the uh, Ospreys half to the grandstand side of the field. Lions still very much in this, but uh, if they're not going to be able to get points for their effort, then uh, the Ospreys will easily win this game. 
Tipperick took that one in from the line out. And here comes the driving ball from Sam Barry. Can they get go for it, ball? Yeah, they do get the driving ball going. Now it's uh, and Morgan Williams with the box kick over the top and into the hands now of uh, Richard Grill who tries to run it. Finds Emmanuel Tutsuka. Now Jordan Hendricks over the long pass out to Edwell van der Cut back on the inside by Eric Ron. Yeah, he's into a bit of space. Still going up to the halfway line, but Noamba knocks it on in the pass. Scrum down to the Ospreys. The Lions try to play some brilliant, expansive rugby. But uh, the hands, unfortunately, letting them down. But a great break there from uh, Eric Cronier. Maybe shouldn't have tried the miracle offload there. Although there was nothing wrong with it. Now, I should have just scored it. So, time has been stopped again now for an injury. And uh, this time it's PJ Puerta receiving some attention. But so far, so good from both sides. Uh, the Ospreys just a lot more clinical than the Lions. The Bulls, Lens on top. The Bulls second, Glasgow third, Munster fourth, Benetton's fifth, the Stormers sixth at the moment. The Lions were in eighth position when this game started, I think. So they don't need to slip up now. The Ospreys, I think, in seventh. <coughs> So let's see what the, the Ospreys can do from here on the uh, halfway line. 24 minutes played in this game. Morgan Williams to feed this one in. A strong, solid scrum again from both sides as Morgan Williams gets it out to uh, Owen Watkin now in Jack Walsh nearly into a bit of space there. But the Lions defense really good on that occasion, stopping them between the 10 and the halfway line inside their own half. Owen Watkin, Owen Williams to Tipperick. Now, Barry. Barry has been playing like a wing on uh, on fire here in that hooking position. Driven back in the tackle, though. Now it's uh, Williams again and into space nearly there was uh, Morgan Williams. Or Morgan Morris, sorry. Now it's taken up by Walsh again. Morgan Williams out to Watkin. Charged on by Butty on the halfway line. Now it's uh, again carried up strongly here by Edinburgh. Ach, not by Edinburgh, sorry, by Ospreys. Just up over the halfway line. Now Owen Williams again comes back to Morris once again. Now it's uh, carried on. Williams, Gill and Giles gets the pass away. Now it's uh, Watkin. Watkin trying hard. Now Tipperick. Lions defense still holding out beautifully on the halfway line. Comes back to Owen Williams. Tries to kick it, but it's been charged down by uh, the Lions and kicked forward by uh, them as well. But uh, the chase is going to be won by Jack Welsh. Over the try line of the Ospreys for a dot down and a 22 or a goal line dropout. So the kick touched the, uh, Eric Cronier there and uh, went forward quite a long distance. But uh, 26 minutes played here and the uh, Alliance in desperate need of some points, but the Ospreys doing well to prevent them. And also the Lions defense so far really good up until now. Another stoppage in play now as uh, it's one of the uh, Ospreys players receiving some attention now. Right, 26 minutes played. Just to sum this up, the Ospreys starting this game like a house on fire, really bringing it to this Lions. The Lions defense not able to hold out for this opening 20 minutes. They've had their moments of brilliance throughout this first 20 minutes as well. But uh, the defense of the Ospreys and little errors in between has cost this line side. Owen Williams at the front foot for this Osprey side with a restart then. And a deep kick in taken by the Lions. Now Emmanuel Tutsuka. He's going to run it up to over the halfway line, up to the 10-meter line. He goes 
Right leg drive in the middle of the field. No, oh, it's been knocked on there by uh, Jordan Hendricks uh, on the 10-meter line. It's going to be a scrum down to the Ospreys. Yeah, took his eyes off the ball or maybe just the pass from the Humber too hard to collect. And uh, an error-ridden game from the Lions at the moment. Six handling errors from them, four from the Ospreys. And both sides guilty of... Uh, Knocking on a lot of ball. Scrum down now to the Ospreys. Morgan Williams to feed this one in between the, yeah, on the 10 meter line inside Ospreys off in the middle of the field. 13 minutes, 12 and a half remain in this uh, first half, which the Ospreys has been dominating on the scoreboard. Morgan Williams uh, feeds it in. And here they come. They're going to move it wide. What can interpret a space, making it up almost up to the halfway line here. Again, carried up by Barty. Williams, Morgan Williams, Owen Williams, out now to the forwards. Parry again. Driven back in the tackle was the Osprey there. And some good defensive work here from the Lions. As uh, Morgan Williams go with a box kick over the top. And well grabbed in the air by Quan Horn. On the 10 meter line of the Lions now. No humbo waiting for it. Gets it out to Frankie Horn. Carries it up. Makes a good couple of meters. Now pick up and go from Smith. Penalty advantage to the Lions. Now Jordan Hendricks out. It goes to Edward van der Marbe. He's into a little half gap and still going up to the halfway line. Then he's brought down. Now Nahama. Etienne Wurst stays and out to Jordan Hendricks. Sir. It's the, uh, Richard Krill. Richard Krill. Show and go up over the halfway line. Now he's brought down. Comes back again. It's Frankie Horn. Jordan Hendricks. Sir. Flat pass out. And uh, well held in the tackle. So we're going to go back for the penalty to the Lions. The offside by the Ospreys. And uh, Kunrad van Vieren finding himself in a in a very bad situation each time he gets the tackle backwards. Reading the play really well is the Ospreys at the moment. Not really giving uh, the Lions any go forward ball or momentum. A kick downfield from the Lions, and that one is going to find touch on the 22-meter line of the Ospreys on the grandstand side of the field. It's an opportunity here with 10 minutes to go. Can PJ Puerta get the throwing right? Adam Beer. Trying to contest that one, but Frankie Horn has done well now. PJ Puerta flat pass to Marius Low charges at the defense, but uh, it seems like uh, the Ospreys might have stolen it. Now it comes back again. No Hamba back to uh, Emmanuel Tatsuka. Tatsuka try leg drive gets it out to JC Pretorius back to No Hamba. Now five meters out from the try line, it's Emmanuel Tatsuka again. Can he get this ball down to the ground because it's been held up? By the Ospreys now. Comes back again for the Lions. Jordan Hendricks, a quick hands needed now. It's uh, Eric Cronier out to it. Well, Van der Merwe. Van der Merwe just five meters out from the trial. And on the touch line here is the Lions. No Humber waiting for it. They need to get some points from this. Etienne West stays and knocks it on. And here's the chance now for a counterattack from the Ospreys. Owen Williams with a kick downfield. Juan Horn having to go back after this one. What can he do with this one? Keelan Giles uh, and Morgan Williams making that tackle on the halfway line. Eric Cronier now at scrum off here for the Lions. Smith uh, is going to carry this up. Now no humber. Back it comes. Jordan Hendricks out to it. Will Van Merwe gets it out to Tatsuka. Tatsuka is going to run it up to the halfway line again. Oh, it's been lost by the Lions. And a chance now for another counter-attack. Adam Beard. Out it goes to uh, Morris. Straightened up there by Watkin. Good little offload there. 
up to the 10 meter line Tipperick or oh, Williams uh, with a loose pass and the Lions have turned this over here comes Conrad van Fieren now Frankie Horn gets the pass out and carried up by JP Smith to the 10 meter line they go oh Frankie Horn did he knock that ball on no he hasn't it's going to be a penalty to the Lions and a yellow card coming for the body Ospreys for a for a professional foul here and it looks like it's going to be Sam Perry who's going to get that penalty or that yellow card. Sorry. Yeah, Sam Perry with the yellow card. Right, so with eight minutes to go in this first half. Yeah, there you go. Just that finger on the ball of uh, Frankie Horner. And that is a professional foul. Yeah, the tackle on uh, Etienne Wistes and also looked like a grass cutter tackle. You're right. Uh, who said that? Uh, yeah, Mamur Sabas. Yeah, that was a grass cutter tackle on Etienne Wistes, and that should have been a penalty right there already. But 12 points to nil it is here with eight minutes to play. It's Jordan Hendricks who's decided to have a shot at goal instead of kicking for the corner again. So uh, if they've taken all their points, it could have been 12 points to six. So the right decision here to go for goal just to get some points on the board for the effort. Hendricks are now lining this one up. And that kick has been oh it's gonna pull to the left of the post so missed opportunity saying that you have to take your points but the kick is not kicking 100 percent correctly which wasn't the difficult kick whatsoever um depending on how the uh, weather conditions is wind and so on but either way 12 points to nil seven minutes to go in this first half it's still 12 points to nil Plenty of opportunities for the Lions in that first half to get back into this game, but so far the Ospreys holding on. The restart then from uh, the Ospreys taken by Jordan Hendricks and now to Tuka. We'll play in the black and white of the Sharks from next season. Jordan Hendricks and uh, Emmanuel Tuka. Now Jordan Hendricks ahead. Wolf on the matter out to Frankie Horn. Now space here for the Lions. Away they go. It's a race now for the try line. Mori is slow. He's brought down just uh, 15 meters out from the try line. And the ball comes back to the Ospreys now with a counter-attack. An opportunity now for them to get back. Morgan Williams, just outside his own 22, gets the pass away to Morris. Tackled by J.P. Smith. Right in the middle of the field, just outside the round 22. Morgan Williams now looking to clear this ball. Goes to the box, kick over the top. Edwolf on a mad man waiting for it. Now he's going to look to counter. Couldn't get past the defense. Now Frankie Horn got the offload and made a couple of meters. Now Nahama. J.P. Smith again. Good charge from him. Oh, Nahama falling over Tipperick there. Referee says play on Jordan Hendricks. Van Vieren, actually it in worst days, and then ball stolen again by the Ospreys now. This time, penalty to the Lions, holding on the ground there by the outside center. Ivardi Bosov, the cheetah player, the former cheetah player, that is. But uh, the Lions struggling at the breakdown because Emmanuel Tutuka and Frankie Horn are such a attacking loose forwards and uh, mostly in open play. They kind of forget to defend the ruck at times. But uh, another chance now for the Lions. As, uh, they get the line out five meters inside the 22 of the Ospreys on the grandstand side of the field. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That is a straight concussion, that Mamusa. Now PJ Puerta with the frame fights Etienne Wurstazen. Now they set up the driving wall. Can they get this going forward? Definitely need some points before halftime. PJ Puerta now driving. Still they go. Or oh, penalty advantage to the Lions now coming in from the side from the Ospreys. 
No Humber. Out to Marius Lowe with a little stab through. But uh, nobody's going to get to it. And Keelan Giles just dots it down. But we're going to come back for another penalty to the Lions. Dominic says, uh, go for the seven-pointer. Yeah, at this stage, they need to do that, Dominic. Brandon Duplessis says, hi, guys. I see the Bulls lost. <laughs> yeah, quite badly last night. After keeping their own in the first half, just couldn't keep up with the Leinster attack. Three and a half minutes to go in this first half. The Lions now with a line out five meters from the try line. Can they make it count? They need to make it count here. Can't go to halftime with no points to show for the effort so far. They haven't played bad. Etienne stays and takes that one in. Here comes the driving wall again from the Lions. Five meters out from the try line. Five meters from the right hand touch line. Looks like uh, they're going to get go forward ball now. I know where they go. It's a try to PJ Buerta. And finally, the Lions on the board here. After some really hard work leading up to that try. So, 12 points to 5 with a conversion to come. PJ Puerta with the try for the Lions. Two and a half minutes remain in the first half. Yeah, when they got that second shove going, it was only going to go one way. And that was going to be a try all day long. Great forward try by the Lions. Super stuff. And uh, the conversion to come from Jordan Hendrickson now. Now would be a good time to get start landing those kicks as well. Ivan van Rooyen being shown there, the head coach of the Lions. And uh, glad that they didn't sack him after last season. I was very pro to let it be done. Um, he got in some new structures. Looks like Albert van der Berg was the problem at the time. And, uh, yeah, now that they've got new structures in place, they're looking like a decent side with that conversion going over. It's 12 points to 7 and a true reflection of how that first half actually has gone so far. It's 5 points in it, nothing more, nothing less. So here we go with a minute and a half to go in this first half. Still three and a half minutes left on that yellow cart. So we'll see probably another minute of the yellow cart in the second. As uh, Owen Williams to get us back underway here from the halfway line. It's a deep, deep restart. Waiting for it. Frankie Horn grabs that by the horns and uh, charges up inside the 22 here. Nohamba waiting for this ball to come back about 10 meters out from the left and touch line here. As uh, Nohamba goes through the box kick over the top. And uh, now it's Jack Walsh on the counter as that kick didn't land uh, into touch. Now Morgan Williams out it goes. Driven up here by Gareth Thomas. Morgan Williams again now. White they go. Jack Walsh out to Tuperic. Just short of the 22 now is uh, the Ospreys. On a 10-meter line now back. Here they come still. Great flat pass there. To the forward. Still going forward as the Ospreys now. Williams out to Keelan Giles. He's beaten two defenders now. Up to the 22 they go. Morgan Williams waiting. Can't, oh, nearly intercepted there by the lines. But still comes the uh, Ospreys now through Morgan Morris. Morgan Williams out to Gareth Thomas again. Still they come as the Ospreys. Time is up on the clock here for the first half. It's a penalty to the Ospreys. Five meters outside of the 22. Do they take the three points? Or do they try and get for another try here? It's up to the captain now to decide what they do. They've got the lines a little bit on the back foot here. But three points is three points. And to take a lead more than seven points into halftime is a good lead at all. So, yeah, Owen Williams will have a shot at goal from here.
just uh, the referee is it the referee that had it had a message there to the coaching staff of the Aspers? No, it was actually the coaching staff talking to each other. So a big discussion going on there between the coaches of the Ospreys as they've now opted to go for the three points and take a good lead into halftime. 12 points to seven with this kick to come. Can the Ospreys take a good lead into halftime? It's outside between the 22 and the 10, about 20 meters from the left-hand touch line. It's uh, going to be struck well enough to get the three points. And at halftime, it is the Ospreys 15, the Lions 7, as we will be going into the halftime break. The Lions still very much in this game. I won't say they're out of it at all just yet. And looking forward to a really good second half. I'm going to take a quick break. But when we do come back, we will be doing the second half.
Right, guys, we are back here for the second half here between the Ospreys and the Lions. The Ospreys leading by 15 points to 7 at half time. It's really a game for anybody to take here. The Ospreys started like a house on fire, got 12 unanswered points, and then the Lions slowly but surely started to work their way back into this game. And uh, yeah, just giving away that penalty here towards the. Uh, end of the uh, first half so uh, yeah it is what it is and uh, the Lions will have to fight their way back into this game here in the second half so uh, let's quickly go and have a look at how the uh, players have performed from the Lions side um, Quan Horn has had a little bit of an up and down game here in the first half he's been solid at the back but his kicking hasn't been perfect defensively he's been solid uh, in the later stages of that uh, first half. But, uh, yeah, he'll definitely have to pull his socks up along with Richard Krill. Edwell van der Matter has tried valiantly throughout that first half to open up space and get things going for this Lions side. Eric Renier, for me, has been brilliant in that outside center position along with Marius Lowe, who's not afraid to take it up. they in for the physicality of the game. And, uh, yeah, just doing a really good job at the moment. Then Jordan Hendricks, uh, uh, not the greatest game from him so far. Uh, same with Sanella and Ohamba. Uh, too many little errors around the fringes and uh, maybe passes that maybe should have stayed and kicks that's not been perfect from Jordan Hendricks. So a lot still to do for them in the second. Frankie Horn, Tatsuka and JC Pretorius all over the field as far as the attack goes. But like I mentioned earlier, it does open up things for them to, to be vulnerable at the breakdown when they're not available at times. Reinhard Nordtagel in it, you know, has been solid. Konrad from Fieren has been tackled backwards in every go so far. I feel sorry for him at times throughout that uh, first half. So he'll be looking to up his game. PJ Puerta and JP Smith has been solid. So, uh, yeah, let's get ready for the second half as uh, it's going to be Quan Horn to get proceedings back underway here in the second half with a high hanging kickoff. And well taken by Tipperick for, uh, well, actually it was Adam Beard who took that in for the Ospreys just outside the 22, about 10 meters from the uh, grand, Grandstand Pavilion touchline. Gareth Thomas takes it in the lucid prop for the Ospreys, moving towards the middle of the field now. As uh, Morgan Williams now wait for it. He's going to go with a box kick over the top. And it's a high one. Not uh, not a lot of distance. But uh, well done by JC Pretorius to get that ball back for him now. Here comes the Hamba. Back it comes now to uh, Van Fira. Oh, it's JP Smith who's knocked it on. And it's going to be a scrum down to the Ospreys. Between the 10 and the 22 in the middle of the field inside uh, the, the Ospreys half. So a good opportunity goes a begging there again for the Lions. Just that little mistakes at vital times costing them a great defense to be set by Ivardi Bosov, the, the outside center of uh, the Ospreys. So the Ospreys now also back to 15 men after that yellow cards uh, been given. Sam Perry will no longer play any part in this game. Lloyd is on to the field in his place. And then also Landsberg. I think is in the place. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Etienne Westhuizen or Nordnagel who's left the field. We'll just check that in a bit. But scrum down now as uh, Morgan Williams will feed this in the scrum off of the Ospreys. Big scrum again from the Lions. Just need to be careful. But it's picked up beautifully now by uh, Tipperick who's going to go on a run here. Up to the 10 meter line he goes. Right in the middle of the field, inside Lions territory. Wide they go, Williams, Beard with a long pass out to the uh, right winger there, Luke Morgan. He's gone straight through. Will he be stopped though? Yes, just a meter short from the try line. He gets stopped and it's going to be a penalty to the Lions there, holding on. And what a break from uh, Luke Morgan there. But what cover defense from the Lions there. To stop Luke Morgan from getting over for the try. That would have been really bad for the Lions if they had to give away a try early on in that second half. Jordan Hendrickson out to uh, 
Kick that one downfield and on the 10 meter line inside their own half. The grandstand side of the field. Mamusa not happy with JP Smith there. Although I must say, I, I quite enjoy JP's uh, rugby these days. Just look at him earlier breaking through like a like a, a, a winger or a center in slow motion in that first gap of the game. But uh, yeah, um, as far as a top class play, he's probably club level. Uh, let's be honest, but I do like him. Uh, follow him on, on Facebook, and he's always funny with his clips and stuff. So, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a true rugby man. As he leaves the field as well now, as Morgan Udia comes onto the field in the place of J.P. Smith. So that's his game for the day. Now, Hamba now out to uh, Jordan Hendricks and to Emmanuel Chatsuka, who's been all over the field today. Now comes back Jordan Hendricks with a big hoist into the air. The chase now coming from Krill. Oh, it's been, has that been knocked on by uh, Jack Walsh? No, says the referee. Play on. And uh, waiting for it now. Morgan Williams gets it back now. It's carried up by Lloyd. The replacement hooker now for them on the 10 meter line inside their own half. Five or uh, 10 meters from the touchline. Goes to the box kick over the top is Morgan Williams now. Waiting for it, Jordan Hendricks, a quick pass out to uh, Quan Horn, who puts it on the boot. Looking for that space, and at 50-22, but uh, it's going to bounce once into the hands of Owen Williams. Gets the pass out to Jack Walsh, under pressure now, and somehow Morgan Williams gets it back and kicks it downfield, under pressure with a good clearance kick, all the way up to between the 10 and the halfway line, inside the Ospreys half, on the uh, grandstand side of the field. Well, if the kick worked, it would have worked. It would have been a 50-22. Just one bounce separating that really from going into touch. Uh, Williams did well to get the pass away. A little bit of a hospital pass to Jack Walsh. He did well to eventually get it out to Morgan Williams. Now, PJ Puerta with the throw into this lineup. Which way do they go? Frankie Horn, Sanele Nohamba. Poor pass to Jordan Hendrickson, but he secures it well. Now gets it out to... JC Pretorius on the halfway line. PJ Puerta with the drive forward. Uh, he's going to be stopped just over the halfway. Now it's again Edwell van der Merwe, Jordan Hendricks, and Marius Lowe with a long pass out to Quan Horn. He's up to the 10 meter line uh, inside Ospreys half, five meters from the touch line on the far side of the field. Now Jordan Hendricks are back again, Frankie Horn. Now it's a long pass out to Edwell van der Merwe. He's going to get the pass out to. Uh, JC Pretorius, Lions playing sideways, but not really gaining ground forward. There's the penalty now to the Lions. And the chance to maybe put this into the corner or go for goal on the 10-meter line, about 10 meters out from the touchline on the grandstand side of the field. Eight penalties conceded by the Ospreys, five by the Lions so far in this game. <laughs> Well, that is, uh, it is uh, your opinion, Mahmoud. So like I said, uh, probably just a club player level, but uh, a real team player for that match. Six minutes gone in the uh, second half and a chance now. PJ Puerta to throw this one in 15 meters out from the try line. Oh, the line go, line out goes away for the uh, Lions, it seems, I think. No, is it going to come back for them? No, it is... Uh, the Ospreys has got their hands on the ball. Morgan Williams out to uh, Morris, the number eight of the Ospreys, just setting it up, trying to work it in the field to get more of a kicking angle going for Morgan Williams. Ah, yeah, for Morgan Williams with the kick downfield. Not a lot of distance between the 22 and the 10-meter line out into touch on the grandstand side of the field. <laughs> Mamuta says the two Cape Townians have been impressive for the Lions. Edwell and Quinn, mighty marvelous. Right, Puerto with the throw into this line out. Frankie Horn this time gets it off the back now. JC Pretorius gets it out. Marius Lowe with a good line up onto the 22. They go PJ Puerta now. Support play there from Emmanuel Tsutsuka. Now, Nohamba, Marius Lowe, Jordan Hendricks gets man and ball. Driven backwards there. Just outside the 22 of the Ospreys now. Again, they go through uh, Tatsuka. 
Oh, and a penalty goes against uh, the Lions there for a dangerous clean-out from Morgan Odia. And uh, just like that, the great uh, momentum that the Lions have built goes to nothing. Reich uh, says, I rate J.P. Smith. Uh, not Boca quality, but great player. Absolutely uh, right. Safe to agree. Club player at most. But uh, he's, like I said, a true team player. And uh, probably one of the reasons why the Lions are doing so good this season is the fact that they've got a great young team, but the spirit within the side is really well. The time has been stopped here by the referee. They're looking for a foul play here. And a yellow card is going to go the way of Morgan Odier there for that lift on Justin Tipperick, which is fine, uh, very fair, and uh, Nodia gets the yellow card there. So, uh, 15 points to 7. Owen Williams now to kick this downfield. He is going to find the touch line. Five meters out from the 22 of the Lions. And now, suddenly, after all of that, it's uh, the Ospreys now on the attack again. Right, Lloyd with the throw in. Taken well by Adam Beard of the back to Perik. Morgan Williams, flat pass to Owen Watkin. He stopped right in the middle of the field. Morgan Williams again. Now gets it out to Lloyd. Lloyd makes a good couple of meters. Now Morgan Williams again, Watkin. Watkin steps, steps and uh, gets the release out to Williams. Owen Williams, that is. He's been brilliant so far. Tipperick now. Out they go, Gareth Thomas. Jack Walsh into a half gap. Five meters from the try line. Now Morgan Williams again back to uh, the uh, tight that prop Tom Puerta there. Now Tipperick again, five meters out from the try line. Pick and go from uh, Lloyd. Still they come Morris now with the drive. Driven back in the tackle though. Still five meters out to pick up and go again from Lloyd. So close to the try line now, just two meters out. Tom Buerta looking to dot down for his second try. Not going to get there. Now Adam Beard. No, it's Morris who gets the try. It's Morgan Morris, the number eight of uh, the Ospreys, who gets the, se well, is that the second? Or th yeah, second try for the Ospreys. No, third try for the Ospreys. Morgan Morris dots down. <laughs> no, 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 not today. <laughs> Mamursa. I'll turn that down with a with a very sore heart. But uh, yeah, the Ospreys now with their third try of the game. 20 points to seven. And is that the end of the contest here? Or will the Lions find their way back into this again? Owen Williams to uh, have a shot at goal. 30 minutes remain, so still plenty of time to get back into this game, but then the Lions will definitely have to score next. Owen Williams with the conversion attempt then. And straight through the middle she goes. And 22 points to seven it is. Right. What can they do from here? Can the Lions find a way back? Or is this the start of the onslaught from the Ospreys? Dominique Bosman says bye-bye Lions. I don't feel that the game is over just yet. I still feel that the Lions have got what it takes to get back into this game. But they will have to score next. And with a man in the bin, it's going to be a little bit difficult. The deep restart there by Quan Horn, taken by Tipperik. And on the charge uh, of Vardy Bosov now for uh, the Ospreys. Still waiting for it now is uh, Morgan Williams again. Just asking Tipperik to secure that ball at the ruck for him as he goes through the box kick over the top. Again, not a lot of distance, but high into the air. And then... Uh, 
knocked on by the Lions. It's going to be a scrum down to the Ospreys between the 22 and the 10 meter line, about 10 meters from the grandstand side of the field. Onto the field comes Jakub Vesaki in the place of PJ Puerta, as well as Ru Andrea coming onto the field here in the place of uh, Van Fieren. JC Pretorius is going to be the unlucky guy to sit out uh, another six minutes of that yellow card because they're having to bring on the forts. Yeah, it's, look, this competition is is tough, Mamusa. Um, I think uh, it's difficult for any side to go anywhere and win away from home. Um, true to the uh, competition, it's more likely for a for a home side to come away with with either a small victory or a big victory. So uh, they either lose it very closely or they win it at home. The scrum now from the Ospreys and they win a penalty from that. And it's going sideways quickly now for, uh, for the Lions. Big scrum from the Ospreys then. Popping out there was Ru Andrea and Jakub Vesaki. Credit where it's due to this Osprey side. They've been, they've been the better side between the two. Owen Williams at the front foot of that, the fly off of the Ospreys. Scrum off Morgan Williams also really doing well. Leon Lloyd, not Leon Lloyd, but uh, Lloyd to throw this one in. To this uh, line out here for the Ospreys on the 10 meter line of the Lions inside the, the, the Lions half. Well taken uh, by Adam Beard. Now Owen Williams straight running by Watkin. He's brought down very quickly. Now here comes uh, Ivardi Posov. He's thumped to the ground. And uh, again they come through the forwards. It's Lloyd again. Now, in fact, Patti who took it up. Now Williams again. Watkin flat pass this time. As they drive it forward through the through the lock, uh, coming back again. Owen Williams now, Ivardi Bosov again up to the ten meter line. They go. Morgan Williams, good defence from the Lions as they stop them in their tracks at the moment. It's Tuperek on the loop around Williams now gets it out. Ivardi Bosov again with a little kick forward. It will find a matter of a back for it, though. Five meters out from his own trial line. He's going to try and run this. Fends off the first defender. Now opens up a bit of space. Jordan Hendricks out to Frankie Horn. He cuts back on the inside. All oh, the ball has been ripped by Owen Watkin. Gets it out to Tipperick inside the 22. Now Lloyd. Stopped there by Tatsuka, who wins it on the ground. Now Yaku Fasaki with a loose pass. Picked up by the Ospreys. Now 10 meters out from the trial line. It's Bati who takes it up. Still they come Williams to Watkin with a little stab through, but well gathered by the Lions now. Jordan Hendricks at 10 meters from his own trial line. Yaku Fasaki gets it out to Kwan Horn, who puts it on the boot and finds touch about between the 22 and the 10 meter line inside the Lions territory on the far side of the field. Amursa says, how come the Cheetahs don't have the loan system with the Safa team? Uh, I think uh, it's it's not so much a decision from Saru, uh, Mamursa. It's uh, the Welsh Rugby Union actually made that agreement with the Cheetahs. So that's why you got, you have a guy like Ivardi Bosov. Um, I think the scrum off, uh, what's his name? I uh, can't remember the name exactly now. Krier, Ruan Krier as well as uh, who else was there. I think uh, also one of the wings, Cassande, Cassande uh, also played for the Ospreys. So there you have it. Luke Davis on the field here for the Ospreys in the place of Morgan Williams. Barty driving forward over the 22. They go. Now Luke Davis again to Perik, out to Barty. No, Morgan uh, Morris this time. Now they work it party again. Williams driven forward really well there by the lock forward. Uh, 
who's really caused them a lot of problems today, is uh, the number four, Reese Davis, who's been exceptional. Now, look, Davis again, Morgan Morris once again. Davis once again to Williams. Long pass out this time and still going now. Trying to find a bit of space here as Luke Morgan gets it back now to the replacement prop, Garen uh, Phillips. Still about five meters out from the trial line. Here comes another penalty advantage to the Ospreys. They could wrap this up now. Right in the middle of the field, Davis gets the pass out to Owen with his thumping tackle from Tatuka. And now Tipperick uh, with a pick and go. Still two meters out from the try line. And uh, back they come for a penalty. 22-7 it is. And uh, five meters out from the try line. Ten meters out from, well, five meters out from the uh, right hand touch line here for the Ospreys. So might be a little bit difficult to kick, but put it into the corner. There's still a minute left. On that yellow card. One feels that another try here for the Ospreys will settle things here. It's 23 minutes left in this game. Just pull back that one minute there. So still 22 minutes to go. 28 minutes to go in this game as JC Pretorius comes back onto the field. I think it's a little bit early. And then Sergal will come on for Frankie Horn as well as Mone van der Berg um, onto the field for the Lions as well now. I think there's still about 30 seconds left on that yellow card, so not sure if JC is yet to be returned. <coughs> Line out here to the Ospreys. Five meters out from the Lions try line. As Lloyd throws this one in. It's Adam Beard who takes it in really well. Here comes the driving mall, and the backs have joined in in this mall now. They need to be careful if they lose this ball somehow. They've got nobody to defend, but they're still doing really well. Looks like Lloyd is going to get there, and he gets there for the try. And that should wrap it up as well. I don't really see a way back from here. 27 points to 7 with a conversion to come. Richard Cummings says, plenty of time for the Lions to get back, just as I was saying, that I don't see them coming back from here. So, yeah, I feel as far as the contest, this one is over. With uh, just over 20 minutes to play, unless the Lions can really match it up now and get two really quick tries. It's going to be really, really difficult to get back into this one. So 27-7 with the conversion to come. And the Ospreys have shown that it's never easy winning away from home. As uh, the Lions did last week against Connacht. They're finding it really hard against uh, a well-trained, well-coached uh, side in the Ospreys. And leading this uh, charge for uh, the Ospreys as they fly off Owen Williams, who's had a fantastic game. Justin Tipperick, all the key players, Adam Beard, uh, Gareth Thomas, Sam Perry played well when he was on the field. So, yeah. <laughs> Richard says, good, I'm a farmer. As long as the grass is green, there is hope. <laughs> uh, gotcha. 21 minutes to go. It's, uh, I think that conversion was gone over. So 20, yeah, 29 points to seven it is. And it's going to be a long road back. So let's see if it's going to happen. Juan Horn with the restart then. JC Pretorius chasing up after that one. Tipperick got it. Now it's uh, Luke Davis back to Tipperick. 10 meters out from their own try line here towards the middle of the field. 
as uh, Bhatti just secures that ball for Luke Davis and finding touch about five meters outside of the 22 on the grandstand side of the field. As it stands now at the moment, the uh, Lions will drop out of the top eight and the Ospreys will move into seventh place on the lock. Mamania says two quick tries should put the cat amongst the Ospreys or make the Lions among the Ospreys. Jakub Asahi to throw this one in. JC Pretorius got that one in the front now. Mornay van der trying to wriggle his way through there. Losing a bit of ground as the Lions. Henry Sergal now. He's been a quality player for this Lions site going overseas next season. Now Jakub Asahi. Mornay van der Berg. Sanele Nohamba. He now finds himself in the fly of Perth. Mornay van der Berg again. Rue Andrea. Now Van der Berg gets it out to Landsberg, but the ball again ripped by Watkin, who's a tremendously strong in ripping those balls. Kicks the ball away into the hands of JC Pretorius, though, who uh, gets scored on the halfway line here. Now Van der Berg waits for it. Slow ball now, Dreyer, no, no humber. Out it goes to uh, Eric Kronier, cuts back on the inside. That's a really good uh, run from him. Now Nohamba gets the pass away to Richard Creel. It's been knocked on by uh, Ospreys in that pass. Nohamba a little bit too short to catch that ball as it slips through the back. Lions losing ground again, but a penalty will go the way of uh, the Lions. Right on the halfway line in the middle of the field. And it looks like Jordan Hendricks has moved to full back with maybe Juan Horn moving to the wing. Not sure who's left the field then. But Hendricks and Nohamba both still on the field along with Mornay van der Berg. And Juan Horn still on. Well, it might be that Juan Horn might have left the field. Who knows? I haven't checked. Right, lineup to come for the Lions. Five meters inside the 22 now and the grandstand side of the field. Can they get something out of the circle now? JC Pretorius at the back. Jakub Pesachi. Now Jordan Hendricks is straightening things up. Might be that he's in the center berth in the place of Marius uh, Low, maybe. We'll check the reshuffle in a bit. Now circle again drives his way forward. Now Mone van der Berg, back it comes again. No humber. Oh, the Lions have knocked it on. Or was that a forward pass? Yeah, Juan Horn is also still on the field. And uh, the Lions again slipping up. And uh, just when it looks like they're doing well, they blow it again. So Juan Horn knocking that ball on. 14 handling errors to the five of the Ospreys just sums up the situation today. So 17 minutes to play and uh, the Ospreys having a 22-point lead as more replacements come on to the field for the Ospreys. It's it's uh, Deeves now on to the field for Tipperick. So Harry Deeves it is on to the field in the place for uh, the Ospreys. Scrum coming the way of uh, the Ospreys now. 15 meters out from their own try line. 10 meters out from the far side of the field. Will we see some magic from the Lions? Or are they too far gone by now? Luke Davis out to Williams. Puts it on the boot. Kicks it downfield. Straight into the hands of Quan Horn now. Quan Horn out to it. Wolf on a He's uh, looking to make a bit of space up to the 10 meter line of the Ospreys. Now, Mone van der Berg, Landsberg to Tatsuka. Support players there. Now, Mone van der Berg looking to work the blind side. Juan Horn with a little stab through. Is that going to roll? Beautiful kick into touch. Five meters from the try line. It's not a 50 22, but uh, at least puts the pressure 
on the Ospreys. So Morgan Morris and uh, along with uh, Owen Watkin has taken the most carries in this game. Morgan Morris has been absolutely brilliant today. The number eight of the Ospreys and a long throw in over the top and stolen by the Lions there. Jakub Asahi now taking that up five meters out from the try line. A pick and go now from the Lions. They need to score now. Another pick and go from them. Right under the sticks here. It's uh, Tatuka. And Tatuka has been held up. Tatuka has been held up. So uh, let's see. They are going to go upstairs to look at this one, I think. But uh, the referee tried for all might to get to see whether that ball was grounded or not. So I'm not going to have the audio to hear what he's asking, whether it's an on-field decision try or whether it uh, is a no try, because I think that's going to play a major role. Oh, that should be a try, surely. How the referee couldn't see it being dotted down is actually beyond me there. You won't see it from that angle. You'll see it from this angle. Well, from the other angle, surely. But it does seem like a try has been scored. Because there he goes to ground. And then he had to place it. Surely there was no arm under that ball. But uh, unfortunately, depending on what the referee asked for, this might be held up in goal. I personally felt it should be a try. Um, but uh, you'll never know. So, yeah, I thought so. Held up there by uh, the Ospreys. So it's very bad luck. It's the way you ask the DMO. And I'm sure he asked, held up, uh, give me any proof of a try and not, it's a try, give me no reason not to award it. So a goal line dropout coming up then and uh, sat for the Lions there as that kick gets kicked downfield to Tuka now again. He's going to charge up here to between the 22 and the 10 meter line in the middle of the field. Vandenberg, Nohamba, long cut of pass to Jordan Hendricks, sir. Not getting over the advantage line on that occasion. Now Van der Berg gets the pass out to Landsberg. Now uh, again, Ohamba out to Jakub Asahi. Gets uh, man and ball. Losing a bit of ground now as the Lions. The Richard Grill into space and he's going to be away. Gets the pass out to Quan Horn. And Quan Horn won't be stopped. He won't be held up. That's going to be a try to the Lions. So 29 points to 12 it is. And uh, is there a way back for them? Richard Cummy says, good. I played varsity games against dispatch. Our team consisted of those uh, called together five minutes before kickoff. We were down about 45 nil, So we got a scrum on our trial line. And that, <laughs> and that is that. <laughs> Did you guys come to win the game? 29 points to 12. Conversion goes over. So 29-14. Will we see a fight back here from uh, from the Lions? They still need to convert a try, though. <laughs> 29 with uh, 13 minutes. They need at least 15 points to level up here. Sutton coming on for uh, Davis now. So it's going to take a miracle, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I think it's uh, beyond them. 29-14, the restart in from Williams is a deep one. Into the answer of Andre Sergal now charges, bashes it up, but runs into a brick wall. Now Van der Berg, it's uh, Dreyer, no Hamba. They're going to run this from their own trial line here. Now it's uh, Eric Cronier up up to the 22. 
Going to need support now. Van der Berg uh, again working with the forwards. They go. Van der Berg looking for a little snipe, but he's going to be isolated in the process. Good work done then by the Lions to get it back. Now Lansberg just outside his own 22. He's brought to ground. Van der Berg waiting again now. No humba. Jordan Hendricks with a kick downfield. Looking for a bit of space into no man's land. That ball's going to roll. Owen Williams having to pick this up quickly. Beats one and kicks it away. And uh, into touch it goes. A decent kick quickly thrown in by uh, the Lions. And now no humba. Under pressure gets caught by the defense over the halfway line. And uh, penalty to the Lions there. Uh, diving off their feet was the call on Harry Deeves there. And now the Lions can kick this to the corner again. Remember, two converted tries and a penalty to win it. With 10 minutes to play, a little bit beyond them. There's the kick downfield from uh, Jordan Hendricks. Uh, he's going to find touch round right about on the 22-meter line of uh, the Ospreys. And onto the field comes Nagai or Nagy. I don't know how exactly you pronounce it. But the replacement fly half onto the field as well as uh, number 23, Williams. That is uh, Kieran Williams onto the field then for them as well. So Yako Fasahi then to throw this one in. For the Lions from the 22 meter line. So Nagy. Onto the field for uh, the man of the match for me, Owen Williams. It's either between Owen Williams and Morgan Williams. Ach, not Morgan Williams. Uh, Morgan Morris for man of the match today. Taken in by Landsberg. And uh, here comes the driving ball from the Lions now from just inside the 22 of the Ospreys. Driving mall going forward at the moment, although it's also going sideways towards the middle of the field. It's gone down and they're going to lose this ball now. Is uh, the Lions or not? No, it is going to come back from, for uh, Van den Berg. Gets it out to Sergal. Sergal now, more like Van den Berg again, out to Emmanuel Tutsuka. He's been probably one of the best players for this Lions side today. Now Van der Berg against and then oh, Hamad squad horn into a bit of space. Shouldn't have tried the offload there. Uh, it bounced backwards, I think, and into touch from one of the Ospreys. So it should be a line out to the lines. The boss was never on there. Yeah, I should have kept that ball in hand. But yeah, the Lions come again. With eight minutes to play. Ten meters from the try line. Or five meters from the try line. They have another go. Emmanuel Tutuka leaving the field now. And uh, he's been replaced by uh, Eisen Esterhazen now. Just some fresh legs coming onto the field for the Lions now. To try and uh, turn this around, but uh, it's too little too late for me, I feel. Well, in fact, it is going to be a scrum down to the Lions. Uh, the referee has deemed that the ball got knocked on by the Ospreys. So, scrum down to the Lions, five meters out from the try line. Can they do this? Mornay Fanabar feeds it in. On the far side of the field, here comes the drive from the Lions. It's a big, big scrum. Now Van der Berg out to Jordan Hendricks. Uh, he's just a couple of meters short from the try line. Van der Berg, no humba, going with a cross kick attempt type of thingy. But uh, easily taken by the Ospreys, but they're going to come back for another penalty. So now listen, I'm all for the try, but uh, you need two converted tries here. Oh, well, because they're going way back to the side of the field. So, best would be to go for the line-out or the scrum. Well, 
judging by the way of that scrum wind, I think they might as well just go for another scrum here. So an injury to one of the Ospreys now. And it's uh, Kieran Williams who's uh, receiving some attention here. But uh, eight minutes to play in this game. Just eight minutes to go. The Lions need 15 points to draw level. To convert a try so the penalty will win it for them. They've got eight minutes to do it. So which one are they going to take? Are they going to take the scrum again? Yes, they will. So it's scrum time here for the Lions. Five meters from the try line. Five meters from the far side touch line. Let's see if they can get another try and then maybe we can start talking about the comeback. Mornay Fanneberg to feed this one in. Well, the, well, the Ospreys know how to play the game. Just uh, settling, unsettling that scrum a little bit and we're going to have a reset scrum eating away at valuable time. Sometimes the scrum can be your best friend and sometimes it can be your worst enemy. And time is against the Lions at the moment, so probably maybe not the right decision to go for the scrum because it's eaten up about two minutes. Right, here they come. Another big scrum. Penalty advantage. And the referee blows on the whistle. What can I do? Mone van der Berg, will he go quickly? They need to change this now. Referee's not going to go to the pocket. Maybe the next one. Yeah. Morgan Morris getting uh, a call from the referee that you might get a yellow card next time. So do they scrum again? Yeah. Eating up valuable time though. I'm not a fan of uh, going for scrums because the opposition can slow that down quite tremendously because you can have two or three resets without uh, the referee giving away the penalty. And when you only got seven to play, it's, uh, <laughs> it's time-wasting. Right, Mornay van der Berg to feed this one in. Five meters from the try line. Lions trying to milk another yellow card. Will it help them? Here comes the push. Here comes the push. There's another penalty advantage. It's another go here. JC Pretorius have knocked that backwards. Now it's uh, Richard Krill, five meters out from the try line. Now Andre Sergal. Still five meters out from the try line is the Lions. Mone van der Berg. Now Landsberg. No way through for him. Still five meters out from the try. Line. Mono van der white they go. Hundred Sergal moving towards the left hand side of the field now. Now moving it right again. Now it's Quan Horn gets it out to Jordan Hendrickson. It's Richard Grill, but I think he was in touch before he scored the try. So 29 to 14 and into touch, I think he went. They are going to go upstairs to have a look. It seemed like he might have been into touch, but uh, let's just check it on the replay. Can they do it in six minutes? As much as I think they can on another day. Uh, oh, from that angle. That's a try. That is a try. I'm confidently speaking now that I think he might have just scored that try. Let's have a look from this angle. There's the foot. Oh, it's a close call. I don't want to take it. Was that foot on the white line, though? Was it on the line? From this angle, we'll have a better look. Surely it's got to be a try. From that angle, you can clearly see that that foot did not touch the white line. 
But now, if you look at it from this angle, it almost seems like it did. But uh, I would give the try nonetheless. Yeah. So, Andrew Brace have awarded the try here. And the Lions now are uh, up to uh, 19 points with the conversion to come. A very important one indeed. With... Uh, the time not standing still whatsoever, just on my clock. <laughs> so uh, we are going to put that at 35 uh, minutes with five minutes to play after this kick, surely. As uh, the kick from Jordan Hendricks uh, has got to go straight through the middle. So another two points. And it's an eight-point game at the moment with five minutes to go. Well, Mavusa asked, where's the yellow? So I guess from uh, scoring the try, the advantage was over and they didn't get the yellow card. We can debate it and argue about it. I personally felt that still should have been a yellow card, but the referee has opted against it. Right, five minutes to uh, get a remarkable comeback in this game as Jack Walsh gets us back underway. It's a deep kick in, so the Lions will have to run it from their own trial line. Now, Sergal. He's going to bash it up to just inside the 22 of the Lions. Now, here they come again, running it from their own trial line. Jordan Hendricks, say Eric Ronier, no humber. Out it goes to Richard Grill. They're five meters from their own trial line. And there's the penalty, and that's the one that surely is going to wrap it up. The penalty, Morgan Morris wins it on the ground. And for that reason, I think that's a man of the match uh, penalty there. He's had a decent game all day. That's the danger of uh, trying to run it from where they did. And Morgan Morris, the number eight of uh, Mamursa, wins the penalty for the Ospreys. With uh, well, three and a half minutes to play. Take the full 43 seconds, says the uh, water boy there. To Jack Walsh, run down that clock, get the kick over, make it uh, an 11-point game, and uh, just secure the game. Lions valiant for the effort to try and come back into this game, but uh, unfortunately, it was beyond them when it was 29-14, I think, with the time that was left, and uh, it took them too long to actually get the try and get back. Oh, that hits the upright and off. So the kick downfield here from Eric Cronier now. One bounce sent uh, into touch. It goes five meters inside the half of the Ospreys. And I'll tell you what, that was a very easy kick that he missed. But it, what it did, it took away valuable time off the clock there. Who knows? Might. Maybe aim for the post there. So line up here to the Ospreys. Five minutes inside their own half. Uh, Leon uh, uh, Lloyd to uh, throw this one in. And that's going to be a loose ball collected by the Lions now. Van den Berg gets it out to Dreyer. who's going to Dreyer his way through there. And here comes uh, Landsberg as well now. But just between the 10... Or on the 10 meter line of the Ospreys now. Go for a quick drop goal. Set up that last valuable play. Or get the try quickly and get the drop goal. The Ospreys defense holding beautifully. Pushing the lines back now. All the way to the halfway line. And now driving up over that ball. And winning that ball. That's a match winning moment. Jack Walsh gets it out now. Under pressure. Is uh, the Ospreys still on their own 10 meter line, but they got possession? Oh, and the Lions, so oh, it's uh, going to be a penalty against the Lions there. Landsberg penalized for not rolling away. And I thought for a second that the Lions were going to get the penalty. But uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for sure with a minute to go. It's going to wrap it up. Right, 
with a minute to play. It's fair enough to say that the Ospreys have got this one. 29-21. The throw in to come. Lloyd to throw it in from the 22-meter line here. And unless a miracle happens, this is the Ospreys game. Get the driving wall going now. Referee says use it once. Now Luke Davis waiting for it. Now Keelan Gall. So he stepped right through there. Gets the pass away to Nagai. And Nagai will get the try. Well, that wraps it up. Bonus points secured for them. 34 points to 21. Was there a double movement though? They might want to have a look at that. But Keelan Guile sparks the magic for the Ospreys. Nah, it wasn't a double movement. Momentum took him over. And uh, that wraps it up. 34-21 with a conversion to come. Well played, Ospreys. And uh, a good comeback from... Uh, from the uh, Lions to, to make it exciting for the last couple of minutes. But 36 points to 21 final score here. Well-deserved victory for the Ospreys in the end. I will see you guys very shortly for the uh, Stormers up against Ulster. Um, it will be a new live stream, so make sure to go to that live stream and click on it to join in. But until then, guys, this is the Rugby Guru. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, cheers for now.